find out what fair trade means for the people who make the footballs, we've come to a town called Sialkot in Pakistan, the football production center of the world. Over 85% of the world's footballs are made here, more than 40 million every year. For hundreds of villagers outside Sialkot, stitching footballs is the main family income. Traditionally, this was low paid work, but making fair trade balls guarantees a better wage. You get 40p for a fair trade ball, 20p for non fair trade. Today, we've only got one fair trade football each because the orders are low. But during the World Cup, there's loads of work. Everybody wants footballs. We get seven or eight a day. Once I did ten. The money from the fair trade premium pays for an infant school attached to the stitching centre so the women can bring their children to work with them. It's free, so children who might not otherwise go to school can get a basic education. Kiran is 16, and all her family work in the football trade. I live with my mother, and I have six brothers and sisters. We all live together. My father died, and I decided to leave school because we didn't have enough money at home. But because of fair trade footballs, we've been able to earn more, and I'm still able to go to school. over five ticket. I really love school. I want to carry on with my education, and sometimes my mother still struggles financially. So if I have any spare time, I help her stitch footballs. When I buy a ball, I look for the brand, yeah. just because uh, I know it's a better type of football normally. I, I usually look for like brand as well, because um, so, I, don't, I don't really buy balls from like the pound shop and stuff. I like the brands, and they're famous, and, and they're better quality. Brands are very dominant in sportswear, and this is what we have as a problem as competitors. In this country, the proportion of fair trade football sales are probably under 1% of total football sales. Fair trade products often cost more, but these footballs cost less than the major brands. This is our top selling football, so team footballs, retails for £9.80, um, perfectly good quality, non-PVC football. Now, if you compare this to some of the other brands, this one's for £14.99, uh, this one's for £14.99 as well. Now, what would you rather, an ethically produced fair trade football for a tenner or another brand for more money with no fair trade label?